Hello, lovely Dilusionists. Welcome to the studio. Come on in. It is blowing a gale out there. <laughs> Emmy was chasing the recycling down the path earlier. It was funny. Anyway, anyway. Hello, I am Diane Reevely. I'm a signature designer with Ranger Industries. And uh, my brand is called Dilusions, well known for its eclectic stuff. And this is episode eight of a series that I've been doing to promote my diamond range. It's a new range that I brought out in um, October, I think it is now. I brought it out in October. So episode eight. Today, what we're going to be doing is we are be going to, oh, going, we're going to be turning the dusts into these gorgeous well first of all we're going to be applying it to card like this we've got a nice thick coat and then we are going to be turning it into these beautiful beautiful pieces as you can see we're also going to be suspending some of it i'm not sure if it shows up on there where, it, where we get we we'll suspend some during the layers so it's beautiful and then if you want to of course you can stamp into it as well so what will you need you will need uh, the boards the plain boards you will need black paint this is mine black marble which we're going to put on the boards because it makes it pop more and i'll explain that in there uh, we are going to be using the dusts the diamond dusts okay whichever colors you want of those we are going to be applying them with the um the fluffer brush you're going to need the dabber that's how we apply the dust and we apply the rocks okay and then you're going to need the clear rocks so you're going to need that as well and then um if you're going to stamp into it you're going to need the per the diamond medium pad um a stamp and we need the heat it craft tool as well um so that's what we're going to do today okay enjoy Okay, so we're going to take the shapes and we're going to cover them in black, my black marble paint, okay? Um, here's some I did earlier. To be honest, if I haven't got a blending tool around, I just do this. I know, I know, but if I'm in a hurry, usually I've got lots of them done, but if I'm in a hurry, I just will take... Um, and do it with my finger or do it with a kit a baby wipe or some kitchen roll or something like that but and i'll finish that one off later but usually i get the blending tool the rangers uh blending tool and i add it with the blending tool okay but just to show you really quickly there and um i just you just need a thin coat you don't need Ton, you, if you have a thick coat you're going to be waiting ages for them to dry as usual i have loads already prepped ready to go so that's what i'm going to use you can't paint it and then use it straight away because it will be um it, it will be cured okay so what i'm going to do today is i am going to use the dust underneath to um create this type of effect which i just think is absolutely beautiful okay and i'm going to do two ways with you so we start with the base and then the dabber and we cover the board the diamond board with the diamond medium in the dabber okay and then just be careful when you're doing this. The tend People tend to get too much on and you don't need that much. So I'm going to pick up, this is the post box red. Can you see I've not actually picked up a lot and I'm going to just dab it in areas on here. Okay, then I'm going to wipe it. I'm going to take another colour. Let's take the green. add a little bit over here and then let's add I think we'll add pink so I'm just lightly going to add some there okay and at the same time 
I'll prep another one. And then I shall dust that off in a minute because we don't want too much. Oops. Because this is still a bit wet, we don't want to pounce on it too quick. So I'm going to go with this pink again, seeing as it's there. What haven't I used? Lilac. Let's have some lilac. And I don't mind if bits of the black show through. I think that's quite nice, but that's up to you. And then let's fill in with the blue. The blue is the strongest of the six colours that I have at the moment. There are three more coming in January 2024. So I always use that last. OK, so now what I'm going to do, actually, I think, can you see, I think I just want a little bit more post box red. There we go. I'll just add a little bit more if you want it a bit darker. There we go. And then <coughs> what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pat it down. Really pat it down so it's in place. Pat that down. If you've got too much of the medium onto your board, you might make your brush really sticky. So just get in there and brush that out or wait till it's a little bit drier and do them. OK, these want sealing. So we go in, we'll mist them with water. OK, mist it with water. Put them on one side to dry. That will seal it in there. You could also use the hairspray as well if you wanted, um, or a um, fixative. Okay, so I'll pop those there. And here I some I prepared earlier. I've always got lots of different ones on the go, so you can see these are nice and sorted. Or oh, which shall I go with? Let's go with these. These have got different colours. So the first one, I'm going to do this and we're just going to add the clear rocks, just like we've done before. And um, so you can see if you hadn't have cured this powder, it would all come off on here. So make sure you've gone all over with that and we're adding clear rocks. If you added coloured rocks, all of this would just disappear. You won't be able to see it. So <clears throat> tap off the excess. I don't need to do this close be Ooh, because all of the other um, videos, you needed to see the process. But this is exactly the same. Now we're just adding the layers on the top. I like three layers, you might like two layers, doesn't matter. So I'm just going to wait for it to start melting. Here we go, it's starting now. And the dust will keep its shimmer. You will see that shimmer come right through the layers. Second coat. Oh, can you see where I've missed a bit on the bottom there? Um, that I mustn't have had that little bit hot enough. Okay, if it's only a tiny bit like that, I'm not bothered. If it was a lot more, I would reheat that bottom bit, but I'm okay with that, and I'll just make sure that it gets really hot next time. So second layer. Thank you. 
make sure I really heat that bottom corner go back and then I'm going to do my third layer now I'm not embedding into this if I was embedding I would have gone back and attacked done something with that corner but I'm just going to leave this plain I do embed into these sometimes but more often than not I, I do leave them plain so second coat and you can see it's covered it this time <clears throat> and then we'll do the final coat And I shall hold it up to show you. There we go. It's a wee bit hot <laughs> as usual, but hopefully you can see the shimmer. It's just absolutely beautiful. It's like it looks as though it's suspended in. And you could leave it like that or you could embed in there. Okay, so I'm just going to pop that to one side. And then on this one, I'm actually going to add some more of the dust as we go. So I, I've got in here, I've got some of the Postbox Red and I've got some of the Island Parrot. OK, so I'm going to put a coat on, then the second coat, and then I'm going to suspend some of this in there. All right, so I am going to <coughs> take my dabber. Cover it completely. And add the clear. And then I'm going to melt the first coat. And then you're going to see I'm just going to let it cool a little bit because you can't add the dust when it's red hot because it is a liquid. So I shall just melt this first coat and then show you. I'll hold it up by the paper because it's so this is coat number one and then what I'm going to do is just let it cool a little and I'm going to take some of the post box red which is already in there I'm going to sneeze <laughs> oh excuse me sorry about that so I'm going to take some of the post box red and I'm just going to add a little bit here and maybe a little bit here can you see where I've added it? It's matte, more matte on top of the gloss. OK, so I'll put that away. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to remelt this to add the second coat of the powder. So I'm just going to remelt it down. Do not put another layer of diamond medium on or anything like that. <clears throat> so we're just going to remelt the whole thing. You'll see, see it start fizzing when you do it. shouldn't take too long just go over the whole thing and then add the second layer I'm doing two layers of extra dust but you could just add one I don't do it to everything I just do it now and again okay and you can see I heated it all over so that was fine so now let's melt that second layer <coughs> and the extra dust that I added 
is going to be encased in there. So we're going to have, uh, you're going to see separate layers as you go down. So that's the second layer. Now, when I hold it up this time, you should see, can you see this different layers now? Because I added extra there. I always add it in the same colour. So I wouldn't add the copper, uh, the post box red over here in the green. But you can see where it is slightly different. So now I just want it to cool a little bit again. So it solidifies a little bit. And then I'm going to add a little bit of the island parrot there and I'm going to add a little bit of the island parrot there can you see again where I'm adding an extra layer so you've got your base layer you've got a layer where this post box red is and then you've got the layer where the green is and then I'm going to melt it down again melt it down for the last time and put the last coat on so this is different from all the other ones we've done because we, we're having to remelt. <coughs> so just make sure you go all over, make sure it's really hot everywhere and that you don't miss any of it if you do you can do what i did earlier and you can just melt it down add a bit more so this should be the last coat now hopefully yes can you see it's completely covered so let's melt down this last one and then hopefully you'll see the difference between this and this one <coughs> I just melt all of the last layer there we go and then we're going to just let it cool a little and I'm going to put I'm going to sneeze again goodness me one minute oh <coughs> oh excuse me so this was the original and this is the one where I went back in so this you can still see the layers in there but on this one, look at how gorgeous is that? Yeah, because you've got all these extra layers in there as well. Okay. So, oh, I know what I wanted to show you. If the reason I paint it black, because if you do it on white, you're not going to get as uh, dense an effect. Now, you can see here, this is just straight on the white you still get an effect and you can see where I've added extra layers and it's still lovely but this is my favorite I love it love it with black underneath this is cold now so you can see it more okay if you enjoyed this video check out all the others press like and subscribe and I will see you next time okay bye